Hello my dear student. I welcome you all to the maths class. So you all know that in previous class we have started exercise 2.7 and we have completed till question number 2 also, right? So in today's class we are going to continue from question number 3 of exercise 2.7, okay? So let us start without any delay. So here are the question given. So the number 1 question is 2.7 divided by 100, right? So simple you have to do 2.7 divided by 100 first of all remove the point write one after the point how many digits one digit so it is 10 so 27 divided by 1000 so directly you can divide it 0 0.027 okay so moving on to the next question 0.3 divided by 100 so 0 0.3 divided by 100 remove the point right 10 similar 3 divided by 1000 it should be after the point double zero three all right so moving on to the next number three we have 0 0.78 divided by 10 so 0 0.78 divided by 10 remove this point right 100 because after the after the point there are two digits that's why 100 so 78 divided by 1000 is equal to 0 0.078 our next question is question number 4 432.6 divided by 100 so 432 point when you remove this point you'll write 10 so 4326 divided by 1000 so when you divide this you'll get obviously 4.326 when you divide you'll get this answer all right so next question we have question number 5 23.6 so 23 by 10 sorry i write i forgot to write, uh, write the half of the part so it is divided by 100 so it is 236 divided by 1000 so what should be the answer 0 0.236 i hope <coughs> without dividing also you can directly get the answer just see in the first one if you have a uh, two digit number divided by 1000 one, after the decimal 10 and 27 if you have only one digit if you have di if it is divided by 100 then it is point double zero over here 10 then write that write that number over here two digit two zero then three similarly in two digit number point zero and seven eight like but if you have two three six three digit number then point no no zero directly two three six but all the if all are four digit then no zero will be there four point three two six right so that is the simple logic to remember without dividing also you can directly write the answer but you should be very fast and you should be very proper also if it is incorrect in one step then you may lose the marks okay so you have to be very careful so moving on to the next question number six 98.53 divided by 100 so 98.53 divided by 100 we can write like this point this 100 right so 9853 divided by now it is not thousand now we are dividing it with ten thousand once tens hundred thousand yeah one two three four so when you are dividing this you will get 0 0.9853 when it is divided by 10,000 and there is four digit then 0 0.9853 this should be the way okay okay with this we are over with question number three let us proceed to question number four so student here we have the question number four there are uh, five questions and question number four okay to find the value of this all similarly we are going to solve how we solved in the previous sum okay <clears throat> okay let us solve number one seven point nine divided by one thousand all right so when you divide this you'll get seven point nine divided by one thousand remove the point right ten seventy nine by how much one zero three four not actually it is 1000 right 1000 into 10 is oh, so it's okay 
all right so when you divide this 0 0.0079 this is the first answer okay number 2 26.3 divided by 1000 26.3 divided by 1000 remove this point write 10 this is 263 divided by 10,000 again so when you divide this you'll get 0 0.0263 all right i hope you have understood how to do this okay so number three question <coughs> 38.53 divided by 1000 so 38.53 divided by 1000 remove this one remove this point and write one below after that two digits are there so two is zero three eight five three divided by three four five so when you divide this you'll write zero point zero three eight five three okay so with this we are over with question number three let us proceed to question number four now one two eight point nine divided by one thousand into eight nine by ten into one thousand we can write removing the point we can write ten so one two eight nine divided by one two three four when you divide this zero point one two eight nine all right moving on to the number five zero point five divided by zero point two five and number six we have seven point seven five divided by zero point two five so i want you people to do it yourself so this will be a home assignment all right easy one just try to do on what ma manner i have done all right moving on to the next question question number five to find <coughs> the value here is the list of the questions till question number nine you have so let us start solving question number one seven divided by three point five all right so seven we will write three point five below there and remove the point and write ten above so seven into ten is seventy divided by thirty five right so if you can multiply if you can divide this you can divide it so can't we say thirty five into two is it is seventy so we can write thirty five one 35 2 so, here over here it is directly divided so you can write 2 as a an answer but in some cases not directly you can you cannot get directly but half of the half you can divide it okay so number 2 36 divided by 0 0.2 36 divided by 0 0.2 remove this point again 10 here so 360 divided by 2 yes it can be divided because 2 180 is 360. 2180 is 2 okay. 218 is 36 no? and 2 zero, zero, zero. So we can write like this easy one. Number three 3.25 divided by 0 0.5 below there because it is divided sign there. So point 10 100. When you because this will go up for this, it will go up and for this, it will come down. <laughs> so 10. And over here 100 so 1010 zero, one, zero can be deducted right so what is the remaining 325 divided by 5 into 10 50 here we cannot directly divide I guess so what we have to do 5 10 the 50 let us divide this 325 by 5 6 the 30 5 5 the. so 5 65 the. so when you uh, again you can cut no so instead of cutting you can directly divide with 10 65 by 10 also 10 6 is 60 5 point 0 10 5 is 50 you can do this also so you can write directly 10 6.5 or if you want to cut say for 5 5 13 and 5 2 it is 13 by 2 now also you have to divide so 2 6 is 12 1 point 0 into 5 is 10 so it is 6.5 again so anyhow you are going to get 6.5 whether you directly here uh, divide 65 by 10 or whether you cut it it's your choice all right the answer will be 6.5 only okay 
moving on to the next question question number four 30.94 divided by 0 0.7 all right so remove this write 10 100 here and remove this write 10 here so now if you try to divide this or just write in a simple form first 3094 divided by 7 into 10 70 if you want to divide you can divide or how to divide directly you want to divide or one by one you want to divide i suggest you to divide directly but you should be very perfect for that so when you divide this you are going to get 44.2 i have divided i've got my answer my job is done but now your work is to divide it whether i am correct or not i'm i'm correct i know that but still you have to cross check it okay 0 0.5 divided by 0 0.25 so this point right 10 below this point right 100 above 10 zero, zero can be deducted so 5 into 10 is 50 divided by 25 so here we can i suggest you to just simple divide it 25 one zero, 25 two zero. directly it can be yes or if you don't have the knowledge of multiplication of 25 then what you can do is 5 10 are 50 5 5 are 25 5 1 the 5 5 2 the 10 you can write S anyhow you are going to get the answer 2 but if you have mistake if you have done any uh, mistake in any of this step you are not going to get any you are not going to get 2 all right so 7.75 divided by 0 0.25 remove this point right 100 below remove this point right 100 above 100 100 deducted 100 1 is 100 so now 775 divided by 25 so here when you divide you are going to get the that's whole number that is 31 okay so this is the we are over with number six let us proceed to number seven here we have the question number seven 76.5 divided by 0 0.15 remove the point right 100 below remove the point right 100 above 100, 100 is cancelled 7765 divided by 15 now you can divide one by one or you can divide directly it's your choice so when you divide this you are going to get 51 because 51 into 15 is 765 okay number 7 is over so number 8 and I 9 I want you to do it yourself this will be a home assignment all right it is very easy just do it okay moving on to the next question we have question number six and uh, let me remind you this is the last question from your exercise 2.7 all right so with this we are over with our chapter also all right so i want you all to practice a lot so that you will be very familiar with this chapter okay and you will get the proper marks when you are fami proper fam familiar with this chapter okay so our question state that a vehicle covers a distance of 43.2 km in 2.4 liters of petrol in this liter of petrol it is covering this much of kilometer distance so how much distance will it cover in one liter of petrol that you have to find okay so let us write according to the question it is given that distance covered by vehicle in 2.4 liters of petrol is equal to 43.2 kilometer all right so now you are your to find is distance covered if it is covering this much of uh, distance in this much of liter then in one liter how much we have to find that is our question distance covered by vehicle in one liter of petrol is it this should be divided by this simple 43.2 divided by 2.4 so 43.2 divided by 2.4 so you know how to solve this type of problem it is 10 above 10 below 10 10 cancelled 432 divided by 24 
so you can divide one by one or you can divide directly it's your up to it's your choice but i suggest you to divide it if you are strong in div uh, division it, it will be 18 kilometer isn't it if you want to cross check it whether 18 is correct or not then we can do this thing also D multiply 2.4 into 18 10 to 9 is 18 to 5 is 10 24 into 9 is 216 divide this by 5 you will get 43.2 so is, isn't it this one getting matched so yes our answer is correct so therefore we can write at the last therefore distance covered by vehicle in one liter petrol is one liter of petrol is 18 kilometer okay so with this we are over with our chapter also and we all exercise are completed all right so see you in the next class till then stay safe and healthy and do not forget to practice and do your home assignment okay thank you everyone